love running. I love running. Okay, so I've got a set of babies' footprints here um, to demonstrate that most babies that are born are born with the widest part of the foot, the ends of the toes. And this is important as we talk about toenails because um, only for about a year out of a person's life is their shoe literally shaped like their foot, their natural foot. By about age two or three, the shoes become widest at the ball, the fitting system that's employed in the shoe stores fits shoes to be widest at the ball, and consequently the ends of the toes get pinched into an unnatural configuration. This is almost universally responsible for, the, for causing an ingrown toenail. In other words, uh, people are miseducated about its cause being somehow related to the way that they cut their toenails. Um, it's almost 100% of the time caused by the fact that nature designed for the foot to spread out. Footwear designers uh, desire for the foot to be widest here. So, not so surprisingly, as the shoe pushes over, a very, very common thing to have happen is the architecture of the nail literally changes and the nail starts digging down into the flesh. It can happen on the inside, it can happen on the outside part of the big toe, and so preventive and conservative care is to get the shoe away from the toe, get the other toes away from the toe, and so we achieve this by educating the patient about what a natural foot shape is like and what a natural shoe shape should be like, we oftentimes will use a silicone toe separator in that properly wide width shoe so that there's no rubbing here and there's no rubbing here and that uh, oftentimes can be curative for an individual. Too often though an individual goes too long with their shoes squeezing them and it literally puts so much pressure on the root of the nail that the nail will take on what's called a pincher nail configuration. It's a curved nail. So the key to taking care of ingrown toenails is to remedy them early on in life. More traditionally speaking, uh, therapy that I'm trained to offer is to ignore the footwear and to numb the, the client's foot and surgically remove that part of the nail that's digging into the flesh. Um, all too often this happens in adolescence. The parent has no awareness that their child's condition is caused by footwear. So avoid the operation, get yourself into footwear that doesn't rub on your toe and, doesn't, and get yourself into some correct toes that don't allow your other toes to rub on your, on your toenail. I love running, I love running. I love running, I love running. I love running.